Armor test sounds pretty good. I trust you have prepared yourself for battle. It's funny that Shadowhawk is still really good in some lobbies. You can add this to find start with like Shell Collector or the demon that eats the pig eater. Oi oi oi, he goes crazy. Talking about crazy, in what world should Tess have more armor than Sinragoza? Your strategy has already determined the outcome. Now we observe. Ah, oh, mods already doing. I have observed much in my existence. Mods are too fast. Are as full of spirit as these battlegrounds. Mortals are curiously obsessed with competitions, but it seems you are skilled at this one. I have observed much in my existence, but few things are as full of spirit as these battlegrounds. I, mean. <clears throat> I can buy this elemental for economy. This for maximum power, or this and hold it to have a kickstart to my quest. I actually like Geomancer. It's also a gem which can activate the snail next turn as well. But you're holding it. We're holding. I have developed an illogical interest in your success. Continue for further analysis. No part in this. However, the odds were not in your favor. Let's see. Uh, Shiniki with the 13 months, thank you. Bongo Hopper. Play six battle cries. Well, with this tavern, I guess we're going Bongo. Bongo is not the best, but if you get it next turn, it's pretty good. to stay with you forever. Treat it well in the time you have. What did the bartender tell me to treat my minions well? That's very wholesome. Is there any way we can finish next turn? It's quite difficult, right? I think it's always worth freezing a battle cry just to have it guaranteed. Chat doesn't want to freeze this. I think you always freeze this. Your maneuvers have positioned you well. You guys are thinking too much of high rolling if you don't want to freeze that. Though I will not reveal to you the outcome of these battles, I am certain that you will find them exhilarating. is rarely the optimal strategy. Let's go bongo hopping. I need to just buff my gems now. It might not be that easy to buff the gems, right? Oh my god, I should have opened on the bongo. What am I doing? What am I doing, chat? What am I doing? That was so bad. That was so bad. I need to wake up. Sigagosa already having the hidden treasure is also kind of crazy. Feel boundless. She had triple, but I wanted to go for Jazzagor Daughter Guy. Because it's a lot of stats. 
And then we can take a 5 next turn. It's okay. It's all good. Yeah, you always wanna order minions from most powerful to least powerful, at least in the early game. Especially in a non-mech lobby. It's always nice when you get the good quest and can finish it fast. But now the real game begins. What else can we do here? Is the real question. Imagine if you triple into Drakari. Holy moly. That goes crazy then. Let's see. The most probable outcome for Do you want Bran? Victory. I mean, Bran, Lightfang, Drakari, they all work. I would like this guy's Piper. So... I think you take a 5, but then I think you also heal power. Right? You want what that guy has. Your victory was inevitable. You should be proud. You play the gems. You're gonna generate so many gems, it doesn't matter. And now we start uh, buffing. By the way, should I buy the Prophet? I mean, why not? A great man once said, you profit, you profit. I mean, we generate so many gems, we might not need it, I don't know. So, I already wanna buy the Jazzer, and I wanna buy the Piper. So buying the Prophet is kind of like buying a Sunbaker Relaxer, right? Is it bad? Triple sell for Piper. I don't think you should triple sell for Piper. Guys, patience is a virtue. I want to remind you that it's turn 7. And we have like double bongo with end of turn effect figure twice. We're chilling. The most probable outcome for you also, I want to try to triple the Jazzer so I can go for a 6. Pivot to elementals. <clears throat> I feel like Quilbo are so good because you bully the elemental players. The order was bad, I lost one health. I like a town, I don't know, I'll just buy it. Quishat gonna hate me for this. This way I can just buy the entire shop as well. For the people that are asking why, why not? Next time we just level up and we go crazy. Two bongo with this quest is so good, Jesus. You can call me Radu. But yes, I agree. Now I wanna just go to five and look for a triple into a six. So we wanna go to five for Drakari, and then we wanna triple into Charlie and Bristlebach. And we're buying every prickly piper we find on the way. I don't think it's worth holding the gems for a little bit of extra stats. It's plus one attack, it's not a hundred. Now you need to move all these gems to a useful minion and you win. Wait, 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 are you calling my bongo hopper not useful? Hello? He has feelings. 
There's no cleave in this lobby, so I don't even know what would be a better minion. I'm actually happy to play full quill, but is that bad? Yeah, the knight would be good. The Bristleback Knight. Because he's also a quill bug. Well, let's go to five then. You should be proud. This shop, like the universe, is an ever expanding idea. Bristleback Knight, Drakari, Triples. Cinderai could also be good. It's a lobby where Cinderai might work. Some people are already going for the undead compositions. How big are my gems? Uh, plus two, plus three, soon to be plus three, plus three. Pretty solid. It's not Blood Moon, but it's um, honest uh, work. Your maneuvers have positioned you well. I'm happy that Leech died. You she was dangerous. Deal of power during that performance. Do I pivot to Rock Rock? Probably not. That minion is unlikely to stay with you forever. Treat it well in the time you have. Achievements in its future with you as its leader. Hey, watch out. I'm faking you. Leroy Jiggins. Leroy first is not even that good in this meta, but it's fine. What about the tough task? I'm not the biggest tough task enthusiast. I prefer Bristleback Knight. The most probable outcome for you will be victory. Okay. This looks easy. It's funny because Gallivis is actually pretty powerful here. I'm thinking if I can run away with the duo. Waiting to recruit allies is rarely the optimal strategy. Holds only a small amount of power, but it will be a useful tool nonetheless. This minion has many achievements in its future, with you as its leader. I have calculated that an equitable rate. XQN would have went to six here. One goal. How do you know? You're not XQN. I feel like you want to buy the duo. To go to six and buy the duo, you have to play six minions.
<sighs> Your maneuvers have positioned you well. Yeah, you have exact uh, hand space for the duo, it's okay. Bad Leary dies here. Okay. Your victory was inevitable. You should be proud. I think you use Duo to triple the Piper, right? I bought this just in case I have a bad roll to give myself another roll. Transfer and Mirmi is really good. Your maneuvers have positioned you well. Yeah, I should win because of my size of the near me. How big are his gems? Ah, he didn't say. Fuck. Your lifetime is limited. Let your excitement for the battle ahead feel boundless. This minion has many achievements in its future, with you as its leader. Wait, I should have put a divine shield on that one. Whoops. I don't see a reason to hero power. He didn't have anything that great. I don't want another Piper. He had a Jazzer, but I, I don't want to cut Glow Skill for it. Waiting to recruit allies is rarely the optimal strategy. Bach is really good. For later, obviously. Queen might have been better with this board. Hmm, maybe Queen was better. Was Queen better? So we always beat the Gali. Against this guy, I don't know.
Mozart is better than Bach. Your victory was inevitable. You should be proud. This guy probably got popped here. If I were to guess. This cannot be done alone. Buffer quit is also good, right? Aid from these minions. Ah, maybe not the best. I don't know if I need double glow skill, it's probably overkill. But let's make sure that we get second place. Guaranteed. I kind of like the tough task if I am to play Bach. Something like this. And next time you cut the glow skill and you cut the piper and you play Bristleback, Bristlebach, sorry, and Tough Task. And you try to triple the bongo. You are operating at optimal the bongos are carrying so hard. But I made some sloppy plays this game. And I think it's coming back to bite me. Yeah, this guy got popped. He's way weaker than the spell dog. I'm actually curious if we can beat the shutter. Glow skill was super good carry there. Unreal. He got the best trades in the world. Do not die here. Oh, disgusting. These battlegrounds. This luck is insane. Okay, I'll triple the corrupted. What have I become? Holds only a small amount of power, but it will be a useful tool nonetheless. Your maneuvers. I'm starting to buff a tough task so that I can go double tough task Bristlebach. Hopefully, it's not a bad play. But I would like to triple the bongo. Mm, should have buffed the Leary ones. I don't know, stats versus stats, I should just win because of my Mimidon. Unless he Leroy's did. You fucking lucky piece of shit. Bro, what is going on? I'm getting turbo scammed everywhere. Two times I got turbo scammed. This fucking lobby is annoying. I have calculated that an equitable rate for this transaction is precisely one goal.
Guys, I don't know what to do. You are operating at optimal performance. I don't want to triple the Leroy. Go back in time and don't triple. Tripling is correct in my opinion. I just want to triple the bongo for one more board spot. I understand a success such as that counts for much in your mortal society. And I'll catch you next. Okay, I'll just triple it. And I'll catch you next. I cannot cut the bongos. They're just too good. <sighs> Let's go like this. I should win here. Positioning is too good. Board is too good. I just want to triple the Bach or triple the bongo. And then I can fit another Bach or another tough task. You are operating at all I might just triple the Leroy. For second tough task. Wait, what the fuck did he do? He cut the town? He cut the blaster? Little bro, what are you doing? I don't think you want the Charlie. Too tiny. You may have one goal. I have no need for mortal tokens of value. By my calculations, this minion will be more effective than most. I'm not sure what to buff. Somebody says Bach first. I don't want to risk uh, Shadow Rock taunting a Leroy and then me just losing my Bach to that. That would be a play that I would like to avoid. That's why I also don't put a Tough Task first. Because technically speaking, Tough Task is the best minion to use as a bumper. But it's also like a very valuable minion that you don't want to give up on. You are operating at optimal performance. Frustrating. Though I will not reveal to you the outcome of these battles, 
I am certain that you will find them exhilarating. assessed all possible options and deem this to be a well-earned recruit. Fate is merely another form of data. You were fated to make this choice. I sense that this action will not be one you regret. Bury the bones lost to the past. Bury the bones lost to the past. Leroy Jenkins! Hate defeat, stranger! You are operating at optimal performance. Hopefully this is good enough. He tripled Leroy for some reason. Doesn't that make him a lot weaker? Not if he's knives. I'm lost for words, chat. These battlegrounds. So, who's my weakest minion? Bongo, right? I wasted some buffs on the bongo. I could also just cycle the Bach. Nah, cause you wanna end with Leroy. What does Bach do? Bach resets your task. I have calculated that an equitable rate for this transaction is precisely one gold. Leroy Jenkins!
What if I shield the Bach? That would be bad. Oh my god. Hopefully this is strong enough. Let's see. He changed positioning after I buffed my Leroy. Ah! Get fucked, idiot. I'm so happy. The guy BM'd me and demoted me non-stop. And then... Changed his play when I buffed my minion accordingly. To still lose. Get wrecked, noob. I'm not saying he was sniping. If I had to guess, I would say that maybe he was, but it doesn't matter. There's a chance that he wasn't sniping as well. And to be honest, I'm more salty for the emote than uh, for his change of positioning when I also buff my minions. Bro, chill is just a video game. I mean, there's nothing serious here. Like, I don't hate that person or anything. It's just a video game. That's why I'm so happy I fucking got him. It's just like a childish joy that I beat him after like a long 30-minute game.